Hello and welcome to another Dynamics Consultants movie clip. Today I will demonstrate a new functionality introduced in NAV 2013, Assembly Management. Assembly Management was introduced as an alternative to manufacturing to allow companies who use simple processes to combine components into a final product. Assembly items can be used on sales orders, the same as regular items. But in this case, an assembly order is automatically created to allow users to pick and pack the components that make up the assembly item. I will first review an assembly item, then show you how it can be used with sales orders. Assembly items are set up with an assembly bomb. The replenishment system is set to assembly. These items can be set up to be assembled to order or assembled to stock, which typically depends on the amount of customization that is required to fulfill a customer's order for the item. Next, I will create a sales order for this assembly item. An assembly order is automatically created to manage the assembly process and to connect the sales requirements with the involved warehouse activities. The assembly lines behave as a consumption journal. The assembly order can be accessed by clicking on the Show Document button. It is possible to customise the assembly item on the fly by updating the assembly lines. Resources can be included as part of the total cost of the kit. For this example, I will leave the list of components unchanged. Similar to manufacturing, the cost of the kit can be rolled up from the component's cost. The same for unit price. With an assembly to order item, it is possible to post the output and the shipment of the assembled item directly from the sales order. Navigating to the shipment, the assembly item was shipped. Drilling down further to item ledger entries, shipment and assembly output entries were created when the shipment was posted. Now the order can be invoiced. This concludes our demonstration today. For more information please visit our website at www.dynamics-consultants.co.uk